What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. You know when no last name is needed to introduce you that you've done something important. Today we're talking about Arnold's six favorite exercises for massive gains. I'm gonna share those with you. And Thank you for inviting me, Jeffrey. This is awesome, I'm so happy to be here in the Xbox. This is a new low, Jesse. What are you talking about? It's not Jesse, it's Arnold. Okay, do you have somewhere you can go, please? Oh, I could go to the chopper. Thank you for the suggestion. I really appreciate it. Okay, you know, can I have this, please? You're you talking about a legend here. You, you, you can leave. Okay. Yeah, on a chopper, anywhere, please. You guys, we're talking about the six golden six exercises that Arnold referred to himself. I'm going to break them down one by one for you. As we always do here, guys, we're going to take that old school effort and combine them with some new school science. I'm going to give you a few other suggestions and modifications to the exercises that will help you along the way. We actually did this in our new old school iron program, which by the way, here's a little contest for you. We don't do enough of them here. If you can guess the six exercises before you watch the video, put them all down in the comment below in one liner. Tell me why you deserve our old school iron program and we're going to select 10 of you guys to give them to you. And if you're going to be the guy who watches the video first and then goes back and puts them in later or copy and paste somebody else's answers, then you better have a damn good reason for why you should get the program. All right guys, let's start breaking them down one by one. All right, so exercise number one from Arnold's Golden Six was his favorite chest exercise. No, not the one that you're thinking. Hold off on that one for a bit. It's the barbell bench press, but done with an extra wide grip. See, Arnold felt that when he got his hands out wide, he could minimize the tricep contribution and maximize his chest development. And although he would use slightly less weight to do this, it gave him an opportunity to build that massive chest that he's known for. Now guys, as far as a recommendation from my side of things, I know firsthand that this would be a very uncomfortable way to do the bench press. And anybody that has any shoulder issues at all is going to find it very challenging to do the exercise with this extra wide grip. And that's because we know that when you take that really wide position in your hands, you could do this sitting right where you are right now, try to go back behind your body. You won't get much extension of your elbows behind your body. So in order to get that bar down towards your chest, you're going to have to internally rotate, which gives you a little bit more motion to get there. And again, if you have shoulder issues already, that's not going to be good. So if you can take a slightly narrower grip, you're going to have an opportunity to get more extension more naturally, the bar will go down easier, and your shoulders will feel better. And there's another side of it too. If you're looking to just increase your overall strength, a slightly narrower grip is actually going to help you. Not only are we getting the triceps back into the equation for a greater output in terms of our pushing strength, but we know that biomechanically if I wanted to push something with as much force as I possibly could, I wouldn't try to push it from the really wide position. I'd get those elbows in tighter, hands just outside my chest and push from there. But whatever way you do it, guys, make sure that your golden six always consists of at least some version of the barbell bench press. Exercise number two in Arnold's golden six was the behind the neck press. And I swear I, I just hurt my own ears saying it. The fact is, guys, I'm not a big fan of the behind the neck variation of the overhead press because of the artificial position it places your shoulders in when pressing, which over time can damage your shoulders. I've thrown it in the iron graveyard for a reason. But interestingly, if you look at the way Arnold did this, he was actually way ahead of his time because he kept his elbows forward while his hands were back. So even though he was pressing the bar behind his head, his shoulders were in the right plane. And if you have the flexibility to do this, then by all means, you probably could pull this exercise off. But very few people have the ability to do this. The easier thing to do is just do what Jesse's doing here and make the modification of putting the barbell in front of your body. Because once you do that, and especially if you take a little bit narrower grip, those elbows will naturally come more forward, placing your shoulders in that scapular plane and making a very safe variation of the exercise. And of course, you can do what I'm showing you here, and that's just a dumbbell press. And we know that the dumbbells are going to give us a really easy opportunity to get those elbows in the right plane, but just make sure that if you're doing it, you're not sitting down. Because when you sit down and press your shoulder blades back into the bench you're pressing from, you can interrupt the normal scapular humeral rhythm that you press with. But once again, no matter what variation you use, if you're looking for massive gains, the overhead press better be in your golden six. Exercise number three was Arnold's favorite pulling exercise, and it's up here on a pull-up bar. That's right, Arnold did pull-ups, as you see here, with the overhand wide grip variation, or he did the chin-up. And the chin-up is what made its way into his golden six because it gets the additional benefits for the biceps growth and development too. Because once you have that arm underneath here, guys, you know you're pulling with the lats and you're pulling with the biceps to get your body up to the bar. But interestingly, what Arnold did here was he programmed them for body weight reps almost all the time. Him and Franco Colombo used to say, it's not really a great idea to weight your chin-ups or your pull-ups. 
I actually tend to disagree just a little bit because I think that the exercise can be one of the best mass builders when you go for a little additional overload and add some weight around your waist. If you have the ability to handle more weight on this exercise, instead of always repping out for 12 or 15 or 20 if you're able to get that high, put some weight around your waist and treat this like you would any other strength building exercise and the gains will be waiting for you. Which brings us to exercise number four and that's Arnold's favorite. No, still not that one, guys. This one's the favorite for building bigger biceps. It was the classic barbell curl. Now listen, if you want to build your biceps up, you're going to have to curl at some point. And there's lots of curl variations. There's a seated dumbbell curl. There's an incline curl. There's preacher curls. But guys, if you're looking for the most mass possible, it's the barbell curl that gives you the best option because you can take that weight and lift it up and provide that slow eccentric on the way down to the point where you can actually even overload that exercise with a little bit of cheap momentum at the top to then slow once again that eccentric down and overload those biceps in a unique way to cause more growth. The fact is, if I was gonna make any change here at all, because I love this exercise as it is, I'd like to at least include a little bit of a strict variation too, and that's the strict curl here. All you do is back yourself up against the wall, make sure that your back and butt stay in contact, and simply lift with the sheer force and strength of your biceps alone. Now, of course, when you go to failure here, you can always step away and add a few of those cheat reps at the very end to overload them even further. But the fact is, guys, if you're looking for massive gains in your arms, the classic curl is always going to be part of your routine then, now, and forever. Exercise number five in Arnold's Golden Six might come as a surprise to you because it was devoted strictly to abs. It was the full sit-up. And what's more surprising to a lot of people is that he even did sit-ups. Because a lot of people think that the exercise doesn't belong in anyone's routines anymore because it's not safe for your back. I actually tend to disagree. But instead of doing what Arnold did, which was 200 repetitions a day, you can take down the number of repetitions and potential strain the exercise could cause by doing a few things. Number one, weight it. When you weight it, you can create the overload you're seeking in far fewer reps with a lot less volume. But importantly, no matter how you do it, you better do it right. And to do it right, you want to paint your spine back to the ground on every repetition. Don't slam yourself backwards, right? Pulling yourself up with your hip flexors and then disengaging them at the top and slamming back down. You can be much more kind to your spine by lowering yourself down one segment at a time. And beyond that, you can be much more kind to your spine by not engaging your hip flexors at all in the first place. So instead of anchoring your feet under something and then pulling up to create the counter force to get up to the top, put your feet behind something, over and behind something, so that when you pull your heels back, you actually engage your hamstrings. And by doing that, you can reflexively turn off those hip flexors to a greater degree and allow your abs to do more of the work. Either way, guys, the facts are facts, and the full sit-up is still one of Arnold's Golden Six exercises, and it can still be one of your go-to ab exercises, provided you do it the right way. Which brings us to exercise number six, Arnold's all-time favorite. No, still not that one, guys. It's the barbell squat. Look, we know the squat is the king when it comes to building your leg size, especially if you go heavy, and Arnold is known for going heavy on his squats. Look, even skinny guys like Jesse have benefited from going heavy on their squats. The point is, if you're gonna- Who are you calling skinny? Look at this chest, come on. I thought I took that away from you. I'm gonna take it back. Did you just say I'll be back? Leave, please. Uh, okay. So can we talk about the squat here, guys? Heavy squats, we know, can build substantial leg size, and Arnold relied on them to do so. However, if you're someone that has knee problems and says, you know what, squats just can't cut it for me. I can't do it without hurting. Guys, I have another classic exercise you can do that will help to build your legs as well. And it's the classic reverse barbell lunge. Yes, you can use a barbell like they did in the old days and get some good gains from this exercise, but you're gonna have to put some weight on the bar. The fact is, if you can do squats, guys, always make sure you include them in your training. But don't skip leg training altogether if knee injuries are part of the game here. There's always something you can do to continue to build up the size of your legs, regardless of how they feel right now. Uh, nice for you to join us. What are you talking about? So guys, the golden six, Arnold's favorite six exercises, and you might be sort of still surprised by the omission of, let's just face it, the chest fly. Guys, I've talked about this before. Even Arnold didn't have it in his golden six, although I will say he loves the exercise to death. I made a video about it you're gonna wanna watch at the end of this one to see why I break down. I still like the fly, just not done on a bench. I'll give you the reasons why. At the same time, guys, you have an opportunity here, Jesse's idea, to win the Old School Iron Program. And if you fast forward it all the way to this point to make sure that you got all the exercises right, he knows when you do that, then you better leave a damn good comment because he's gonna be reading them all 
and you're going to be under his scrutiny to determine whether or not you win. If you want to bypass all that, guys, you can head right to athletenext.com, get our old school iron program over there. If you found the video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. And also, if you haven't already done so, make sure you click subscribe and turn your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon. And Jesse, just kidding, that was a good job. Nice job. What's the matter? Old school iron, you've touched too many pencils? We get out of here. Jeff, you son of a